we've had three long years, three hard years, where I would have probably given up by now. So it would be great for the family and for really the whole of the, on the village. I think it would be a tremendous achievement if you were to win it. Mm. The big event is finally here. Tonight, some of the finest farmers in the industry will congregate in the heart of London's West End to celebrate their best achievements. Mucky overalls will be off and black ties will be on. Tonight is all about celebrating the achievements of the very best of British farming, the cream of the crop. And it's really important because British farming needs to raise its game. We need to constantly improve our performance. And this is all about helping to showcase the very best and encouraging others to reach those same heights. At his London hotel, egg drink innovator Matt is preparing his glad rags. There is, there is some apprehension people have as to drinking egg, just because it's not something that people are used to doing. So the more recognition you get, the less of a hurdle that becomes. So hopefully it means bigger and better things for us down the road. In my mind, I think we've done enough to deserve to win. I think we've really done something different than nobody in the country, or in fact, the world has really done. But, you know, I'm not arrogant in that way. There's a, like, the other two businesses are good as well. So, you know, each their own, and I wish everyone the best of luck, but I hope we win. <laughs> Whilst Matt waits for wife Roxy to get glammed up. Across town. Is there a graze in there, Park? Thank Park you. Me. Michael and Jenny are already spruced up and making their way to the venue. <laughs> Okay, you doing all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. All sorted. Oh sorted and booted. Lovely, jubbly. This We're feeling is a quite chance. nervous, aren't we? Yeah, quite nervous. Mm -hmm. um, but looking forward to it. Bit of a mixed emotion bag, really. Bit of a mixed bag, though, isn't it? Mm. I think if we were successful and actually won, you know. Oh my God, it'd be the, fantastic. Yeah, a major achievement. Um, we wouldn't believe it, would we? We wouldn't believe it. It'd be, no. we'd be over the moon, absolutely thrilled to bits. As night falls, the farming community begin to arrive for an evening of glitz and glamour. Diversification is hugely important to UK agriculture because it not only can it add value to core produce, but it also brings people onto farms, onto the countryside. It can make families stay together on farms, providing employment in the local area and really driving the local economy. The first finalists to arrive are Emma, Shepherdess Susie, along with their entourage of eight. Neil, their three daughters, and the team from the farm are on hand to cheer. And spirits are already high. It's really nice to actually get away from the farm. Yeah. <laughs> I think we just feel like we're winners being here. Yeah, it's um, just been... Oh, so exciting coming up and getting glammed up as well, which we don't often get the opportunity to do. And it's just really nice to be out with the team as well. It's sort of quite special because to get everyone together is great. Not really thinking about winning as um, part of the evening because we've just, there's just such strong competition. And it's more about the fact of being here and having a night out, which um, is just the best, yeah, fun night. It's obvious everyone is here to have as good a time as possible. But for these farmers, acknowledgement of years of sweat and toil is just as important. Please kindly make your way through now, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, the 1,200 guests take their seats. Right, so where's everyone sitting? Oh, what a wonderful evening. <laughs> Excited, Matt. It's a brilliant event, and it's really 
actually I'm amazed by the sheer size of it. Yeah, it's really nice to dress up and, uh, and actually all be under the same roof and that, and enjoying it with lots of other people. And just in time for fine dining, Matt arrives with his wife, Roxy. We got here a little bit late for Mr. Champagne, but we just had our first course, which was delicious. And... Um, feeling uh, a little bit nervous now. Um, enjoy being dressed up. The voice is already gone. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a good night. The finalists have fought off tough competition through the application process to make it onto this year's shortlist. All three families stood out for the judges. Emma Boyle's made it into the final three because what she's doing uh, encompasses a whole range of things. She's really bred her own breed of sheep from uh, careful selective breeding to produce a yarn that's really high quality. And it didn't stop there. You know, she's processing it and she's actually going from beginning to end, uh, selling that yarn into a growing market. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. The churches were shortlisted because it was just really unusual. I've never come across a church as a wedding venue on a farm you could have any type of wedding you want in there. I thought it was really inclusive. It was really family-run business. Every member of the family was involved, and it was really well-run and really interesting to go and visit them, too. To realise that you're a finalist in the thousands of people, it gets quite real. So you're like, oh, it's a much bigger deal than the first thing. So, yeah, to win it would be awesome. Matt at Pet Drinks, really innovative thought process that had gone into that product, thinking of ways of using something that many people would discard and adding value to it and turning it into a business. Brilliant. Good evening. Welcome to the 2019 Farmers Weekly Awards. Can I ask all of our finalists to stand up and take a bow? Tonight, there are awards across 19 different categories, and farmers nervously wait to see if it's their turn in the spotlight. How are you, farmers and friends? This is so great. Lots of worthy farmers are championed across the evening. Well, the winner is the Wilson. It's an anxious wait for our three finalists. I'm so proud of Matt, yeah. I can't wait, win or leave, I think he's the winner in my eyes. <laughs> I think my daughters would be really, really chuffed. Probably because they know how many times the fridge has been empty, the clothes have been unwashed. Oh my goodness, if they turn around and say that mum's obviously been selected, it'll just be the most incredible thing, I can't even tell you. Finally, the Diversification Farmer of the Year Award is up next. We won it, my goodness. I think we'd have a few more drinks on board, We'll be celebrating, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fingers crossed. Now, the next award goes to the Diversification Farmer of the Year. After months of anticipation, the wait is nearly over. Okay, Sabina's going to tell us. The winner is Emma Boyle.
I chose the winner because I felt they had a great vision. I felt it was well established and they're actually enhancing where they live and what they do. Thank you so much. Isn't it incredible? Like, we couldn't be more proud of our mum. Like, she's earned this so much. Like, she really deserves it. She works so hard, like, seven days a week. It's really great. Yeah. I know, it's so hard. We've only been farming since 2004, so it just never even crossed my mind that we would, we would sort of come to the top, really. <laughs> yeah, so tough to bits. I think to win the Diversification Award is a huge, huge tribute to get that recognition of having the initial seed of an idea, growing it and getting it to the point where you can win a national award must be just an amazing feeling. It's just so nice, it's quite a validation that we are actually doing something different in farming <laughs> and it's <laughs> and recognized by the farming community yeah. as well i think it's really yeah. important so. well yeah. i think the best business one it was the one that i thought would get it to begin with so no, really happy for it maybe some surprise so um, yeah please go and look at it at the same time <laughs> Congratulations to Emma. We were all very worthwhile winners. We're going to party now. We're going to have a real good time and make the most of the rest of the evening. Win or lose, plenty of booze. <laughs> As the celebrations go on into the night, the three finalists can be proud of their accomplishments. But this year, it's Emma who reigns. You know, knitting rocks. <laughs> <laughs>